Today I'm going to talk about the chicken wing and what they don't tell you. First, what is a chicken wing? It kind of looks like this. I'm in ready position. I end up here. So I've got this crook in my arm. Some people call that a chicken wing. I've never seen a chicken play pickleball, but that's what they call it. Right? So if my opponent hits a really fast paced ball to my paddle side, just off of my hip, and I need to get my paddle there quickly, a quick way to do it is just do that. Now this is a backhand motion here. The alternative is if I want to do that with a forehand, I have to roll this paddle around and pull it back and get it here. I still have a shrugged shoulder and a bent elbow, and that can take longer to get that paddle in that same spot. Some people may see you hit a chicken wing and say, oh, you just hit a chicken wing like it's the worst thing on earth. It's not. Actually, what they may have done is just told you where to attack them. If they've been convinced that chicken wing is a bad thing, they may not have practiced it. If you can put that ball quickly on their paddle side hip, they may not be able to get their paddle there in time. What they don't tell you is the chicken wing is just another tool and you need as many tools in your toolbox as you can get. At some point, your opponent is going to hit a fast face ball at your paddle side hip. You need to be able to get your paddle there quickly. The chicken wing is an easy and quick way to do that. If you haven't practiced, you may suffer. Last week, I watched a video from the Johns brothers as they were drilling. One of the things that Ben Johns did was hit five or six of these in a row because his brother was hitting the ball there. How do I do this? I'm in a ready position. My opponent has hit a ball that's coming quickly at my paddle side hip. I'm going to focus on my elbow, pulling it back and up. So I'm here focusing on my elbow, pulling it back and up. And you can tell that this paddle ends up in this position. The other good thing about this is if I turn sideways, you'll notice that the tip of my paddle is forward, meaning this ball will come up off of my paddle, has a higher chance of going over the net. Yes, I might pop some of those up, but that's why I'm going to practice. Another use for this is when those balls come center mass on me, right down to my center line, my spine line, I'm in my ready position. If I can keep my non-paddle hand on the back of this paddle, as this ball comes in, I focus on pulling this elbow up and away again, like this, and I end up in this position. Again, the benefit is if I can force and keep my non-paddle hand on the back of this paddle, I force this tip forward, meaning this ball is going to come up off of my paddle, has a better chance of going over the net. Versus if this ball comes into my center line and I simply try and block this, now I'm dependent on the angle of my paddle, whether that goes over the net or not, and that is much more prone to error. That's it for the chicken wing. What they don't tell you is, it's just another tool in your toolbox, and it's a good one. Someday you're going to need it. Go practice. I hope you found that video informative. If you did, we'd like for you to know that we have a website dedicated to help people get better at pickleball. That website is picklesmithpickleball.com.